Okay, hello everyone. Let's get started. So we continue talking about Swift basics. So in the previous video, we talked about uh, data types in Swift and also about implicit and explicit data type declaration. So if you are not familiar with this topic or you haven't watched this video, so that's the right time to do that. So the link to the previous video should appear on the top right corner right now. But we continue and today we'll talk about functions. Right. Uh, so in the previous video, when we demonstrated how how variables worked. So as you can see here to my variable, we assign this value. Hello, my name is Borea. Uh, so let's see how we can do something similar with the function. Uh, so why do we need a function and what is the function? So the function basically that's a piece of code yeah, uh, which we would like to reuse throughout our program. Uh, so, for example, there is one action uh, or a sequence of actions we would like to reapply throughout our program. Uh, so, uh, if we would like to skip writing the same code multiple times, so we just uh, use this code or create this code as a function. Uh, and when in any place uh, where we would like to use this uh, function, we just call it. Yeah? Okay, so to define a function in Swift, uh, first of all, we should use a keyword func. Uh, so we tell that we declare a function. One, we should give a name to our function. Uh, let's say uh, construct string. Right, so brackets. So in these uh, brackets, we write uh, parameters, if any, and after that, we should state what is the return type of this function. So basically, whether a function returns something as a result of its work or not. Uh, so, and using these two characters so we declare the type of the function so what uh, data type it returns so in our case it will return a string uh, so in a such way we say that a function returns a string and then square brackets here is the body of our function so and as you can see we now see that uh, we have an error that missing return yeah, so we declare that our function should return a string. So right now it doesn't return anything. Uh, so in some cases, functions just do something and don't return anything. Yeah? So in this case, we have two options. Either we just don't declare the return type and Swift understands that this function doesn't return anything. As you can see, we don't have any errors right now. Or if we want, we can explicitly declare that this function doesn't return anything by specifying the return type as void, right? So that's the same. But usually if a function doesn't return anything, we skip using void and just do like this, okay? In our case, it's string, so we would like to return a string. And here, so a function do something, and in the end, we need to return a value. In our case, it's string. For that, we use a keyword return, and then we declare what we return. Okay, so let's return an empty string right now. Okay, so, so now we have declared a function, which basically doesn't do anything and just return an empty string. Yeah, okay, once a function is declared, we can call it by its name, construct uh, string, right? Okay, so uh, since it doesn't have any parameters, we don't need to specify anything, it's just an empty. Yeah, result of is unused, yeah, but basically we also don't have anything here. Yeah. So in some cases, 
or in majority of cases, uh, still a function uh, has one or more arguments or input parameters. Yeah? If that's the case for us as well, we should specify them in these brackets. Yeah? So in most languages, we specify a name of the variable, uh, string to use, and type. Yeah? But uh, in uh, Swift, we actually have three, three values to be used, right? String to use, okay. Yeah. So here we specify, uh, for example, uh, body. Yeah. And let's return, yeah, Where, yeah, okay. So we are now have a, uh, have a <clears throat> error because actually for string uh, for functions in uh, Swift so for parameters we have actually three things to declare not only name and type but also a label yeah? name to be used yeah? so the first uh, the first thing is so called uh, label. Yeah, so when we have a function and we call it, yeah, so the first is a label, uh, name of the variable we will use inside function and type. Yeah? Let's see what the label is. So the first parameter name to be used. So we use uh, construct string and here we have a label, yeah? right? Name to be used. And here we specify border. Yeah? So label, so basically, uh, that's a hint, so to say, for the uh, value we need to specify. Yeah? In particular, it's uh, very useful when we have a lot of parameters, a lot of parameters in our function, uh, then the label could be very helpful. Yeah? So basically, when we call our function, we have a label name to be used. So that's the hint. Uh, think about the label as a hint. So it tells us, us what is the meaning of this variable or a value uh, we need to provide. Yeah? If for some reasons you don't want to use a label, so it's not mandatory, then you should use underscore. Yeah? So that tells Swift that this function or this particular parameter don't want to use a label. Yeah, and in that case, we can just provide border. Yeah, can just provide border. So basically, an input parameter without any labels. Yeah, but I strongly recommend to use labels because labels are hints. Yeah? Name to be used. So we have a very good label which tells us that the border is actually named to be used somehow in our function. And let's return. Uh, is and here we can have a variable string to be used uh, string to use right so we construct a string yeah so using a backslash and brackets we can use a variable inside Right, so here we construct a string, right? So string to use, that's the name of the variable. Name to be used, that's a label. String to be used, that's a variable name, right? And now we don't need this my variable and let's just use our function here in print, right? Okay, name to be used and let's launch it and see. So it will take some time to compile, but basically we should see the same thing as we used to before we introduced our function, right? But now it's universal. We can call us as we wish, yeah? Just by calling this function and submitting name to be used. Okay. So it's still still in progress. 
Okay. Oh, my name is Bora. Uh, so that's Dmitry. We print here my variable, and that's my name is Bora. Okay, so we can also skip using this one, and instead here we can just call. We can just uh, call this one my function. Yeah? Construct string, and as a parameter name to be used, we used metrics. Let's rerun. So as you see, so it's much more convenient to use functions if we do the same things throughout our code. Okay, so that was a short intro to functions in Swift. Still, if you have some questions, something was not clear, just drop a comment uh, below the video. Thanks to all for watching. If you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, just don't forget to do that. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any upcoming videos so once again thanks for uh to all for watching and see you next time bye bye